Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Escape. Uh, so we're going to do what we call our complete guide video on where we cover all the standard equipment plus the different uh, package available and optional equipment available for the different trims. And we're working our way to the plug-in hybrid. It's its own trim this year. Uh, in the past, it's been, you know, you had the plug-in hybrid was available in either some of the other trims and it was just available in plug-in hybrid this year it is plug-in hybrid to its own trim we'll cover what's standard and then we'll cover what's included in the package if you want an upgraded equipment for the plug-in hybrid in this video so if you like videos like this want to stay updated on product information as well as news updates and such or even check out our live stream then you might want to be subscribed to the youtube channel hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed over the channel hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified next time of another video uploader to YouTube channel. And uh, the order banks are open up for the 2023 Ford Escape including the plug-in hybrid so we're going to go over you know what's standard on these uh what's including different packages and everything so it'll be very helpful if you want to you know how you can have this built and uh how you can go in and to your dealership and make sure you get one order now if you want to work with us we do, we do have a special offer for all of our youtube viewers uh for free shipping we'll have more information about that uh special offer at the end of the video in the conclusion and speaking of that we will have timestamps uh throughout this video so you can move around in the video all you want to and hopefully those times stamps will help you out skip over uh, content that maybe you don't care about as much or revisit some stuff that you want to by clicking the timestamps and going back and forth through the video so definitely use those timestamps and it'll help you out in viewing the video but let's go ahead and jump in we're going to talk about some of the mechanical features first of what's standard on these uh, plug-in hybrids and then go from there so as I mentioned, we're going to talk about the mechanical features first. And to do this, we are going to use Ford's building prices is up and running for the escape. So let's go ahead and, and jump over to the website. Ford.com is where you're going to be wanting to go uh, for this information. And so we're going to go on over there. Let me read uh, move some stuff around. There you go. So go ahead and click on the SUVs and crossovers. Go to Ford uh, 2023 escape. Click on the building price. And then we'll want to click on... Yes, I actually reset my cash so that we can, there we go. And then I'll click select your build. And we've already have a video on the base, the active, the ST line, the ST line select. The uh, We've done one on the platinum, the ST line elite. And now we're working on the plug-in hybrid. Starts at 38,500 here for the plug-in hybrid. Start your build here and we'll get a little more information. Uh, it's refreshing, there you go. Um, and this is kind of where we're gonna start here. Up here in the top are tabs you can you know, move around on the build all you want to and hit the summary even as well and get that information. We're going to start with the powertrain here and kind of talk about some of this. Of course, this is your plug-in hybrid version. This is where you can, of course, uh, go in all, you know, all EV mode and such if you want to, as well as go in more of a hybrid mode. Because of that, you're going to have the 2.5 liter, that Atkins cycle a hybrid engine is going to be standard equipment along with the eCVT transmission as well, just like you'd see in the hybrid version. It's going to be standard in the front wheel drive there, as you can see there. Uh, so that's uh, kind of the equipment. Also, don't forget, these will also come standard. They will have electronic fuel door release. So for the fuel door back here, uh, you will need to release that from inside because uh, it does lock that fuel door there for you. Also, it is neutral toe capable. So you can pull this behind a motorhome, that kind of thing, if you have that type of situation. It'll also come with the pedestrian alert sounder because it's going to be quiet when you're in going slow speeds, parking lots, backing up and such. It's going to be quiet. People may not know that you're moving. So it does have the pedestrian alert sounder as you're backing up to let people know that you are moving, the vehicle's moving. Also, you get a mobile power cord as well that come with a vehicle. So that way you can plug it in uh, if you're on the go and you need to, you need to have that mobile plug in uh, or if you're using it uh, at your home before you uh, at install any kind of charger or if you don't want to install a charger and use a mobile power cord, you're going to have that that comes, it's going to come with the vehicle. So you will get selectable drive modes. Uh, usually it comes in a, a normal, an eco mode, usually a slippery mode, sometimes, uh, you know, sport mode, some of the modes. They actually didn't list the modes on the order guide. Uh, but when we get physically get one here, we'll be able to see what those different drive modes are, and we'll try to do a video on that. Uh, electric parking brake as well includes an auto hold, which means that if you're, you know, at the stop light, stop sign, have that brake press, you can press the auto hold, it'll hold the brake, and then you can take your foot off the brake. Uh, electronic traction control as well, it's going to come with this, and you will have the electronic power assist steering, which E-Pass is what we like to call that. So it's going to be, it's, since it's electronically controlled, a lot easier to turn that steering wheel in those parking lots and such, but on the highway, you won't see that wind push you from side to side, it's going to stiffen that up for you. You also get torque vectoring control because it is front wheel drive, and it'll help out so that you, when you take off, no matter how quickly you want to take off, 
it's gonna not gonna steer too far away. It's gonna have that torque vectoring control to help out. Also, you're gonna have curve control, curve control that goes along with your advanced track with roll stability control. So it'll help you out. Use a series of brakes around the vehicle to help you in those curve and those types of situations, and keep you going on the intended path that you're wanting. So using a brake on the different wheel that it needs to to keep you going on your intended path. So. Uh, so those are all the mechanical features. We're going to talk about some of the uh, other safety features. And I'm actually going to show you a clip from a couple of different things that are standard on these when it comes to safety features and follow that up with some other additional Copilot 360 features that are also included uh, from clips that we did on some other videos uh, for the Escape so that way you know how those are equipped. So check out these two videos and then we'll move into the exterior, to the exterior styling after those two clips. So now we're going to cover some of the safety features. And first, let's talk about the airbags that are in the vehicle. So you're going to have a driver and front passenger dual stage airbag deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle for the driver and front passenger. You also get a knee driver knee airbag as well. So it'll help deploy down, protect from that steering column if that has that front collision and it comes up. That way it kind of protects your knees and, and legs. Also, you get front side front seat mounted side impact airbag. So it's going to deploy from the side of those seats. If you have that uh, side collision and you have the safety canopy airbag. So it does have the rollover sensor. If the vehicle turn uh, rolls over, deploys those from the ceiling. So help protect from the breaking glass coming into the uh, vehicle and hit hurting anybody in the front or the rear seat back there. Also, we do have the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So the way that works, if there's car going slower than you, it's going to slow you down. It's going to let you know that, that, that you're going to uh, collide with that vehicle using a front collision warning and preloads those brakes so it has automatic emergency braking so when you brake it's going to stop even faster also you get post collision braking so if you are in an accident uh it's going to break the vehicle if maybe you're unconscious something like that you're not able to put it in park that's what this is going to be beneficial for you also do get 911 assist so if you're in an accident it'll help call 911 directly uh so it'll even let you alert you too if you get in an accident you have the bluetooth enabled phone connected it'll ask you if you need to call 911 uh as well SOS post crash alert system, honk the horns, flashes lights if you're off the side of the road in an accident. That's going to help alert people too. Um, and then you do get front and rear stabilizer bar as well on the vehicle. And you also do get the lane keeping system. So lane keeping, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to got a driver alert feature on that to where if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, it alerts you and lets you know that. Also, if you're leaving your lane, a couple different things it can do. It can either alert you, which will vibrate the steering wheel if you do leave your lane, or help assist you in staying in your lane. And this also does include a road departure warning for this year uh, that is available as well. That's part of this to the standard equipment on these. And then you do get uh, for the, the kids back there in the back seat, you do get the latch system, lower anchors and tellers for children. It helps to securely take those seat belts and fasten them back into the back of those seats on those uh, two outbound seats. Uh, we'll work on the middle one, but you have to use the, the connections from the two outside seats for that. Um, and then that'll help secure those down there so you're not using those safety belts. So it's more secure, tighten it down, especially if you're going to leave that in there for a while. Also, you do get child safety rear door locks. So that way you can lock those doors out. So that way, if uh, you know kids, you're stopped, you don't want them to get out, they're not able to unless you open the door from the outside. So that's also on there too. And then you do get secure, uh, secure lock passive anatheft system. So what that does is only the key that is on for that vehicle is the only one that's able to start it. So it locks that steering column unless that coded key is entered in and turns uh, or is in the vehicle. So that's a that's great having that secure. Uh, that's kind of a great way to kind of know the security that the, not only the people that have the key can get, get the vehicle started. So I think I've covered everything a part of the safety features. Now let's talk about this extra styling for this year. All right, some other features that are included the standard equipment on the plug-in hybrid is the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 feature. So that adds to some features that you get as part of the safety uh, features uh, on the vehicle. And let's kind of go through some of these components that are included in this. Now, this in here will get you the connected built-in navigation. So that's going to give you the on-screen navigation with three years of service. Also, you're going to get evasive steering assist. So what evasive steering assist is, is if you're going, you know, maybe f too fast that you're not going to be able to brake in time uh, before hitting the vehicle in front of you, you can turn. And if you usually want to turn away, ev evasive steering, uh, it'll actually assist in that steering around that vehicle. Also, you get to, do get the intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, 
and speed sign recognition. So a little bit enhanced over the, the normal cruise control. The adaptive cruise is going to slow you down to go to the speed of the vehicle in front of you uh, without you having to press the brake. And it even will be bringing you to complete stop if you're in that type of situation. And when the traffic starts going, it'll resume as well without you having to hit any kind of resume or anything. Also, going along with that, it helps keep you in the center of your lane. Uh, so that way, unlike the lane keeping system, where it actually will bring you back in your lane, this can be this is activated with your cruise control, and you can actually choose to activate or deactivate this part of the the, the adaptive cruise settings. And then the intelligent part of that is actually recognizing the speed signs. So it'll uh, warn you, of course, if you don't have your cruise on and you're going, it sees a speed sign. You, it actually warn you and let you know that the speed zone has changed. If you have your cruise set, you can actually have a tolerance above the speed limit if you want so like let's say i want to go five miles an hour over the speed limit if the speed zone is 70 and i'm going 75 if that speed zone changes to 65 it's going to slow me down to go 70 uh, automatically when it sees the speed sign so that's a pretty nice feature to have also you get intersection assist so this is a new technology within the last year so if you're uh, turning left across an intersection there's a car coming and it sees that it's going to break the vehicle so that you don't collide with that vehicle so this is a, again new technology and it really comes in handy let's say there's a couple different lanes there and you're coming across and maybe you can't see that other vehicle because of the, the blind spot or something it's going to uh, go ahead and initiate that for you also as you're backing up you're going to have reverse parking sensors as well so rear parking sensors are going to be included as well as part of these copilot 360 assist features um, so some pretty cool features there's some other features too that are included in a package uh, on the plug-in hybrid we'll talk about that package in just a little bit when we get to optional equipment but this is these are all extra standard features on top of your safety features that we already talked about now as we start talking about some of the, the extra styling of the vehicle we're going to start by looking at the colors so uh, go over all the colors that are available with this you do have the gate black metallic that's available uh, you do also have this uh, rapid red metallic tinted clear coat uh, any of those clear coat colors are usually an extra five hundred dollars or so uh, we also do have the star white metallic that is a tri coat so three coats of paint so it's an extra thousand dollars for the, that color we do have the iconic silver metallic paint atlas blue metallic also have carbonized gray metallic this is a new color for this year cinnabar red metallic it doesn't mention it but i think it might be a clear coat because it is a, an extra 500 dollars for that color we do have vapor blue metallic which is a new color as well for this year and then we do have Oxford White. So those are all the colors available uh, for this year. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's choose like this iconic silver here for this vehicle. Actually, let's go with Star White Metallic. So um, that's a pretty cool color. So we'll go with that as we go around the rest of the exterior features here. Um, for the grill up here, you will see it is a piano black uh, grill with a chrome strip at the top of the grill. So real nice, dedicated look. Looks real similar to what you did see, do see on the Platinum Audition there for the, the style of the, the grill uh, with the different bars and uh, just the, the look to the grill. You also do get automatic headlights, which means they'll come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, when you have the setting in the auto automatic setting on for your headlights. They will be LED reflector headlights, so LED are so much brighter on here. You also get LED signature lighting. That's going to light up right above the uh, the lights up here. So LED headlights and then LED signature lighting that lights up above the headlights. Also, you get a LED fog lights down here as well. And then you all will get configurable daytime running lights for those those headlights. So you can configure those to come on and be on during the daytime if you want. Also, you get auto high beams, which means they'll come on automatically. Uh, you know, when it's dark, real dark outside, if a car approaches you and your city lights, it'll automatically turn those off. So both the configurable daytime running lights as well as the auto high beams are two features you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. You also get wiper activated headlights, which means that when you turn your wipers on, the headlights will come on as well. Uh, some people like to, sometimes Ford will reference that as being the rain lamp. So if you remember that, that phrasing. Also, the front bumper here is a um, molded in black on the lower part down here. So that front fascia there is molded in black down in here. Uh, looks like it does have a, a silver front skid plate as well on there. Not mentioned on the order guide, but it does look like the images are showing that. And you do have active grill shutters that you're kind of located down here on the lower part of that fascia. So don't open and close when they need to to allow airflow in to help cool off that uh, that hybrid engine in there, especially at slower speeds. It'll open it up, allow for that airflow in. Um, and then on the side over here, you're going to see the, the wheel is an 18-inch machine face magnetic alloy wheel with painted pockets. So pretty cool uh, looking wheel there. It does get all season tires. Also tire pressure monitoring system for all four of those. Four wheel disc brakes with ABS as well. 
Uh, your mirror caps are going to be a body color mirror cap. As you can see, that white there. Lower part uh, will be the molded in black mirror cap. Power and heated glass for the mirror itself. A manual fold as well. And you will get the bliss with cross traffic alert. All of the uh, the escapes are going to get that. So that's a blind spot information system. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. And then if as you're backing up, cross traffic alert so if there's coming somebody come behind you it's going to alert you with that light in the mirror also a message on the productivity screen but more importantly a series of tones that you need to not back up so uh that way it alerts you and lets you know that there's someone back there you um don't back up also the door handles are going to be body colored up here as well and then you will get intelligent access uh, so that means you just put your hands in the key in the door with your key fob on you and it's going to unlock the vehicle for you allow you to get in and out of the vehicle also, just press the ridges when you get out, and it locks the vehicle. So you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out of the vehicle that way. So that's pretty nice to have. You will get a keyless entry keypads, two of those, with the passive keys, what they call it. The key is kind of hidden in the remote. So it's there just in case you need it. So if the you know battery's dead or something and you need to unlock it, you can still physically manually unlock it. So you can pop the hood and then jump it if you need to, that kind of thing. Um, also with that, uh, you're going to get the, um, talking about the lower uh, cladding, uh, around the wheel lip moldings are going to be the molded in black as well as down here in the lower rocker. Uh, you're going to see it down there as well as on the side of the door there too and then on the upper one. So that kind of protects it. So the lower parts of the vehicle will be that molded in black for you. Uh, also, the upper window molding, uh, let's turn this around so you can see it, is going to be silver. So you can notice that. The silver on the upper part, the belt line will still be black it looks like on this one here. And then you will have the side rails are going to be black as well. So roof rack, side rails on the vehicle, standard equipment here. Privacy glass in these back windows and back glass. And you also get the Easy Fuel Kappa's filler door. So you just put, uh, you when you pull the latch inside that locks it, then it opens that up to no cap to worry about, lean behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Double door system, just put that nozzle in there, fill it up. When you're done, shut the door, um, pretty easy. Um, and, and it doesn't have two levers on that second door. So if you do have um, you know, a situation where you run out of gas or something, uh, and you run out of energy as well, or battery, uh, then you're gonna wanna use your a gas can or something. You wanna use a funnel that's provided with the vehicle. Also, one of the, another thing to note is right up here on the driver's side, up on the front fender is where you're gonna see, you get a better am, a, angle on it from here. Um, in fact, let's go one more. Is there one? Nope, it's on the other side. Um, so that door there is where you would charge the vehicle. So it will have plug-in capability. Uh, it's a plug-in hybrid, right? <laughs> plug-in capability so you can charge up the smaller battery that's in it. So if you want, you can go in all EV mode at any time. So like in town, you can go in completely EV mode using just a battery, no gas. Um, and then if you need to go on the highway where it's further distance, then you have the hybrid capabilities and the gas if you need it. So now moving here on the back, it does have the body colored rear spoiler back here. Center high mounted stoplight on the back of that as well. High gloss pieces down here on the side. Rear defrost with rear wiper and rear washer as well. You do have LED tail lights back here as well back on the back. So LED on the front as well as in the back. You have a rear view camera, so you're gonna be able to see behind you. It's actually located right under here by the where the release would be for the latch. You do get a power lift gate as well on this. So uh, you don't have to, you can just use the remote to open it up, push push the button underneath. It'll also power it up as well. Uh, the rear bumper molded in black back here. And don't forget has a rear and uh, the reverse sensing system. Silver skid plate here on the back and dual exhaust with the chrome exhaust tips back here as well. Uh, do, don't forget, does have the reflector lamps or reflectors back here. So if you're stopped on the side of the road, don't have the vehicle running, people can see that you're on the side of the road with those reflectors. Full size or not full size, but you'll have a mini spare <laughs> in the vehicle. So having that spare is nice. Last year it was a tire inflator kit and you had to add it as optional. This year, standard for the mini spare rear cargo area light and inside as well as you get cargo hooks as well on the vehicle so uh, a lot of great uh, exterior features here but let's move inside and let's look at the interior styling of the vehicle now moving to the interior you will get an illuminated inch uh entry lighting for the vehicle so you have uh, lights up here on the map pockets that light it up so you can see inside as you're getting in it does have carpeted flooring with front and rear uh, floor mats uh, so you're gonna have those on there also, you're going to have sport contour bucket seats here. They're going to be a partial vinyl and cloth seats. Uh, so moving down here, you do uh, look at the 360. You can kind of see how that looks on the vehicle. 
takes a little while the first time we open it up. So give me just a second for the 360 view. Uh, you will get front heated seats, by the way, for the driver and front passenger on the vehicle. But there you go. You can kind of see an image of that seat. So just like the ST uh, line seat, they're going to be cloth inserts in the seat cushion there, as well as the seat back right here. And then the sides will be vinyl on the outside of it right there, just so you know how that works. Uh, you also get eight-way power driver's seat with power lumbar, and you're going to get four-way manual uh, front passenger seat as well. Uh, you will get two-way uh, manual adjustment for the head restraint, so it'll go up and down for you. Uh, and then moving to the back, you will have 60-40 split bench seat for the seat back as well as the cushion. So you can, there splits right through there. So that 60% is on that driver's side. You can fold that down. Let's say you have somebody, three people in it, but you need to put something bigger in the vehicle. You can just lay part of those seats down. Or maybe you have four people in, the, in there. You want to sit in these two seats and you want to flip this down. You can do that as well. Also reclines too with the lever right here. Those seats can recline individually as well back there. And then two-way manual restraint for the headrest back there for those outbound ones. So they'll go up and down. Little little button on the side to lay, lay it down. So if there's no one in those seats and the driver wants to see over those, uh, looking through the rear view uh, mirror, they can. This in here is a fixed head restraint for that. You do have a the armrest comes out of the middle backrest here with two cup holders in it if you'd like. And then these seats, I mentioned it was 60-40 for the seat cushions too. There's a lever under each one of those, so you can slide those forward and back. So that's something actually was in um, the last couple of years. Uh, was I think that was introduced like three years ago, that kind of thing. Uh, also on the back of the uh, passenger side seat, you will have a map pocket in there. And then on the back of the console, you have two USB ports, a USB Type A and USB Type C as well. You will have power windows there. It is one touch up and down for all four of the windows, which means you just uh, press it down. You'll feel it click. You don't have to hold it. It'll go ahead and roll that window down. So you can do that with all four of the windows. And coming up, same thing. You pull it up. You feel that click. You let go, and it's going to roll it up. You don't have to hold it. You also have power lock and unlock, including auto unlock auto lock which means when you start driving after a certain speed it's going to lock the doors up for you and then also when you i think when you uh, shut the vehicle off it unlocks the doors and you can choose to have it unlock or lock just the driver's door or all the doors and that works with the remote as well um, and then you have the steering wheel is a premium wrapped heated steering wheel so you'll have a heated steering wheel here also you're going to have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel so the lever underneath Pull that lever, it'll go up and down, forward and back, where you need to position it. And, of course, your uh, cruise control switches are going to be on here. Don't forget, you're going to get the intelligent adaptive cruise control. You also have redundant controls for your audio, and you're going to have controls for your productivity screen. Uh, some people like to call it the instrument panel. It's an 8-inch screen back behind there. Um, and then you're going to have ice blue lighting, uh, eco mode as well in there So uh, for that screen. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, now we're going to go to the 360 view again. All right, so you do get push button start on this. Uh, isn't isn't showing it back here, but push button start. So you don't have to get um, you know use your remote to get in or out or to start the vehicle. So it's gonna should be located right out right over there. Um, does have dual zone climate control, so the driver and front passenger are gonna have two different temperatures there. Also for your uh, stereo it is an AM FM stereo with six speakers, including the Sirius XM with a 360L uh, Sync 4 as well. And you are seeing the in, with the enhanced voice recognition system that allows you to be able to use those wake up words like you do with like Alexa or something where on this one here you can set up to say OK forward, OK forward pass, those kind of words to listen so you don't have to press the button on the steering wheel to have it listen to you. Also get the 13.2 inch LCD touchscreen in the center stack. So that's a nice upgrade here for this. You need to get the, because uh, of the Sync 4, you get over-the-air updates. You also get the wireless Android Auto and wireless and Apple CarPlay as well. And then, of course, digital owner's manual and a lot of other great features. Don't forget, we get the navigation on this as part of that Copilot 360 suite of features that are an upgrade. Also get Ford Pass Connect. allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So you just uh, download the app, connect your vehicle in there using the VIN and OK it on your screen. And then you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle from anywhere, even schedule remote start times. Uh, you can see the, the tire pressure that you have on all your tires, how much fuel you have in it, where it's even located using that app. App. pretty cool app to use now for the mirror uh, we it does a, a day night mirror so it does have a lever under there so you know if it's dark outside you can flip that lever and it's going to dim those that way those cars or those bright lights don't blind you behind you also you do have on the overhead bin you'll have a map lights up here but also a sunglass bin or wherever whatever you want to store up there as well 
You will also have uh, visors for the, the front here. They will slide. So that means you, you can pull that back and it'll they'll slide on that rod. And inside you also have mirrors in there. So illuminated vanity mirrors with, the, with lids on them. Pull that lid and you can see there. You also notice here, universal grosser opener. Um, that is actually, it's showing it on here. That is not included on the uh, this package. You have to go up to a package we're gonna talk about just a little bit to get that. So disregard that because it's not on there. Uh, yep, and then you will do get uh, down here in the Media Hub area, USB Type A and Type C, as well as a PowerPoint down there. Uh, and then you also get the rotary dial shifter here. And here's these levers back here are going to be for your parking brake and your auto hold uh, back there. And then you can't see it in here, but there's a dial right there. That's where your drive mode switch is going to be right in front of the console. And then you're going to have this armrest with some storage in there as well. So. All right, so that's all of our features here as part of uh, that standard. Uh, for of course, we've co covered all the mechanical features, safety, interior, and exterior. Now let's talk about a package you want, might want to get. So the plug-in hybrid and sense comes with almost two different versions. You have pretty much if you want to go plug-in, here's the price of that. But if you want to get like the like a have like a platinum type of uh, feel to it then we wanna add this other package that we'll talk about next. All right, so let's talk about the plug-in hybrid premium package. And uh, this includes a lot of features. It is $4,500, but this, uh, the way I kind of look at this, the plug-in hybrid is, you know, if you're if you saw any of the videos on the ST line, plug-in hybrid is getting you some of the, the equipment and such that you might see from the ST line select. Um, and then this in here is like getting the premium, that elite or the platinum equipment and away it comes to. So this package all comes together, give you all those features. So let's go through, you can see, you can probably read them yourself, but I'll go through them anyway so I can explain what each of them does for you. You do have the 360 degree camera with split view uh, with front and rear washer. So we'll give you a camera underneath the front emblem uh, to go along with the one in the back and underneath each of the mirrors. So one of the views you can see uh, the camera behind you and the other split screen is going to be all the way around the vehicle. So a lot of people like that feature. Also, you get a upgraded to the 10 way power driver seat. So that means the front of the cushion as well as the back of the cushion will go up and down as well, uh, as well as the front and back and your recline. Also, you get an eight way uh, this does say heated, but eight way power seat because heat is already included uh, for the passenger seat. So that six way means it's going to go forward and back, the recline, as well as up and down. Um, we do also have the active park assist 2.0. This is where you're going to be able to parallel park in the vehicle, reverse perpendicular park the vehicle, and even park out with this. So it'll take care of all that uh, parking that the vehicle. Also, do we do get ambient lighting with floor lights? So the ambient lighting is going to light up the footwells. Also, in, in the productivity or your media hub area and such like that, it'll light that up for you so you can see real nicely. Your uh, auto dimming rear view mirror. So this is that mirror. So when you have this that mirror, it'll automatically dim the mirror. So you don't have to worry about bright lights coming behind you. It's going to automatically dim the mirror for you. Also, we do have the B&O audio sound system by Bang & Olds. It upgrades it from that six speaker to a 10 speaker B&O audio sound system with a subwoofer on it. You also do get the, uh, this is, we're going to upgrade it on the belt line, the uh, belt line molding to the the uh it does say polished stainless steel so that's where it's going to get have that chrome i kind of mentioned around the windows now it's going to also come on the side of that so let's actually we're going to start we're going to add this and they might bounce back and forth here you do also get the front sensing system uh, with this too so you're going to have the front as well as the rear sensing system so i might use my notes so that way we can kind of look at some of these things as we go through it there we go so now uh, when we add that package it actually isn't <laughs> So the, there we go. So you kind of have the silver uh, belt line molding right here as well that comes along with that. So you're gonna see, it doesn't actually show it there, but you're gonna have mirror, uh, those cameras underneath those mirrors as well. So that's a distinct different look to it. Also up here on the uh, grill area itself, you, earlier we, we talked about a chrome stripe across there. Now that's gonna be an LED light when you go to this package. So you're gonna get the LED light that goes along with this as well. And then the front sensing system, you can kind of see the sensors down there. Actually, I noticed it when we talked about as the um, the standard features. Uh, so they probably didn't have two different images for that, but you will get that up there as well. So front and rear sensing. So pretty much perimeter alarm sensing on the vehicle. And let's look at the interior with this package. So you can kind of see 
um, what that's going to look like. Um, so it does uh, give you that uh, view up here. So now um, up here, you're going to see the, well, it actually doesn't show you the lever either way, but the auto dimming rear view mirror is that mirror there. So that way it dims the mirror for you. Um, also on this one here, uh, just double check my notes. Yeah, you do. The universal garage door opener is part of this package. So it gives you the three transmitters uh, to be able to program those for you as well uh, on the vehicle. So I'm going to just check mark these so as we cover them um, so that I can make sure we get I'm going to go over everything for you here, and it's a little bit easier when we look at it this way. Also, we do get um, HD radio as part of the audio system. So Bino audio, 10 speakers, subwoofer, and you get HD radio as well with that. Uh, just to let you know that. Also, um, heads-up display here. So um, not really showing it in this images, but it's kind of like it sits on the road. So it's on the glass, on the windshield itself. It casts it onto the windshield. So that way you can see navigation on there. You can see your speed, things like that, without having to look up from that. Uh, that's also going to be included in this. Um, you're also going to get on the instrument cluster, you'll notice now, you're getting the 12.3-inch the uh, instrument cluster here now. Full digital, including your speedometer and your tack and everything. Or actually, it wouldn't be your tack on these because it would show your battery and such like that instead uh, because this is a plug-in hybrid. So uh, it's going to have that as well there. You will notice, too, the seats are different. They are leather trim seats. So now instead of the cloth inserts, you're going to get leather here. So uh, leather seats uh, with a quilted design and the mini perforations for the heat to come through the seat as well. You also get driver memory. So it'll memorize the, the seating, the seat position, as well as your mirror positions uh, for up to three different drivers. So that's also going to be included. They normally will show up over here on the power lock switch. Um, the image isn't updated here for this one, uh, this particular one here. So um, and then uh, moving back kind of to the outside. This will have, uh, it's not really something you can see here, but it is it's telling us it's going to have the hands-free foot-activated lift gate, which means you just kick underneath it and it will open up for you. Now, I will tell you this, um, they're already telling us that they're going to discontinue the hands-free foot-activated lift gate on most of the SUVs because of park constraints. So don't be surprised if you see that an option added to this. If you do order this, um, that's going to take that feature off. You'll still have the power lift gate feature of it, but being able to kick underneath to, to lift to have the, the foot activated part of that will probably will not be happening for this model year, just so you know that. Also on the outside, can't really see it, invisible keypad entry, swipe it. You'll have your own code that you can program so that way you can unlock the vehicle if you want to. Maybe you don't have the keys on you. Maybe you want to leave the keys inside, go for a run or something. You don't want to carry the keys. You can set your own personal code for that as well. Now, also uh, backing up, um, we already have the reverse sensing and the rear view camera, but also you get reverse brake assist when you go to this package. So as you're backing up, if you're paying attention, it's beeping at you, telling you to stop, and you don't, it's going to initiate those brakes so you don't back up into something or somebody uh, back behind you. Uh, heaven forbid that, that were to happen. So also, now this one does have a couple exterior features I want to talk about. The rain sensing wipers for the front only. So if it starts to rain, you have it one of those intermittent settings. It's going to go ahead and wipe the windshield. The harder it rains, the harder, the faster it's going to wipe for you. Also, this does get upgraded with the perimeter alarm. So perimeter alarm means when you get out of the vehicle, you lock it up, nobody inside. It's going to set the alarm. So what it's going to do is if anybody tries to break the glass, get inside, unlock the vehicle, it's going to see there's intrusion sensors. It's going to know that honks of horns and flashes of lights. If someone tries to jack up the front or the rear of the vehicle to take your wheels, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to shut, set off the, the alarm as well with the, the lights blinking, the horns going off as well. Uh, for you too. So you're going to have that perimeter alarm on there. Also inside, last couple features it's going to have um, in here that I, I wanted to highlight down in here, there's also going to be a media hub area. So what that's going to do uh, is you can just lay your cell phone down in there and it's going to wirelessly, wirelessly charge your phone. Uh, so it's a great feature to have uh, as well. And then it upgraded interior trim as well across here. So a little bit different look to the interior trim. Um, that's across the, the doors are going to see that as well as the instrument panel itself, which is right up here. So it'll look different. So upgraded scale. So a lot like going to the Platinum with the plug-in hybrid with this package. And now you can see a lot of features there of why it's an extra $4,500 for this. But so if you want that Platinum type of feel and trim with the plug-in hybrid, you want to make sure you add this package. Now we're going to talk about the trailer tow package. This is a class two trailer tow package that is available on the ST line select, ST line elite, platinum 
and plug-in hybrid uh, because it does require all-wheel drive for this package here. Um, and it is going to give you the hitch. So it's kind of not showing you there, but it, that gives you the hitch and the wiring to be able to kind of pull that trailer for you. Uh, so that's, uh, of course, a nice addition for you. So if you want to add and pull that trailer, you need to uh, have this package on there uh, and available, of course. Don't forget on the ST line select, ST line elite, platinum, and plug in hybrid with your all wheel drive. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about your exterior options. And we're talking about your standalone options. So we're gonna go, if you go up to the exterior tab up here, it'll take us to those exterior options. And we're gonna go through some of these. Now, some of these are factory installed options that you wanna make sure you put on the build if you if you are on your order, if you want those. Some of those are accessories that you can get through Ford Accessories website. And some of those, uh, some, sometimes Ford will send those with your vehicle or attach them to your vehicle. And because of that, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for that vehicle to be uh, scheduled for production because it needs those extra time for that. And they can only do so many each month or even each production cycle, I should say. Um, and then some of these are also dealer installed options, which means they ship it to the dealership and the dealership would install that at no cost to you. So let me go through of which uh, those are and some of those who can you know let you know if that's maybe something you should think about you know, getting later. So we'll kind of go that at, we'll talk about it as we go through this. If you watch the other videos, you know what I'm talking about. So starting with the panoramic Vista roof here, this is a factory installed option. So you definitely would want to add it. If you want the panoramic Vista roof, add that on your build from the factory uh, for on your order. You can see that that glass that goes up, pops up and slides back on the top. Um, and then also does have a power sunshade. And because of that, uh, you cannot get the side rails or the crossbars, I should say is what they call it. You can't uh, get this roof with the crossbars. So we'll talk about that. That's an option later, um, but there's $1,600 for that if you wanna get the Panorama Vista roof. Um, we do have the splash guard. So this is something that they do at the factory. So when they wanna do this, uh, it takes two screws per each of these. This is something you can do yourself later. You can even order these through Ford Accessories website and then even order them ahead of time have them there when your vehicle gets in and install them yourself if you want have your dealership install them but if you do get it from the factory they'll install it they take it off site after it's built they take it to another building and then they put those on that's why they can only do schedule some of these and i will tell you that there are some of the mod the models that if you add splash guards it will almost just totally hold up your order and that's from getting scheduled all together so that's why i encourage you to do this later if, if you can so i, I just just, just an encouragement for you there. Um, just some things that I've experienced and noticed. Uh, moving down, you do have the cross rail or roof rack rail crossbars. Again, this is something you can add to your build, but is not available. If you try to add this from your from, on your factory build, they won't let you put this with the the Panoramic Vista roof. So uh, just keep that in mind. So what you'd want to do is then order this later through Ford Accessories because you can get this from. Ford Accessories website. Um, but otherwise, I don't think it uh, holds things up. This is a dealer installed option. So if you do add this to your order, they will ship the parts to the dealership and the dealership would put it on your vehicle once it arrives uh, to the dealership. Uh, most of these others are, you know, part of pa the packages. We do have the front license plate bracket. So in states that require front license plate, it's standard equipment, doesn't need to be added to the order and the dealer will install it when it gets there. If you live in a state like Kansas that is not uh, required to have a front license plate, then it's a standalone option. So you'll need to add as optional equipment if you want it on there. Uh, if you do add it on your factory build, then the dealership's required to put it on at no cost to you. Something to encourage to do. Uh, we do actually like to make sure we try to ask people if they're if they're ordering from us and they're out of state, if they require a front license plate, we like to know that so we can make sure it gets put on their order and installed on their vehicle when it comes in. Engine block heater is also something is a factory installed option. You'll want to make sure you put on your order. And you can see that plug right there. Uh, that just allows you to be able to plug that in, keep that engine warmed up. Of course, it heats up that, so uh, the engine block, so that way it starts up a little bit quicker. So again, that is something you want to get from the factory. So that is a factory installed thing you want to do much easier, much cheaper if you do it that way. We do have the wheel locking exposed lug nuts. There's actually two options, but the build and price only shows one. Notice this on all of them. Uh, this is a factory, uh, this is a dealer installed option here, but you do have two different ones and exposed lug nuts like you're seeing here. And then you have the other ones that are not. So um, so pretty cool on how that, that those look. So it would take one of those lug nuts off each one of those and put this one on. So that way they can't uh, steal those wheels uh, as easy. So that's something that you might want to think about getting. And again, that's a Ford Access that is a dealer installed option. So it would 
A lot of times they'll ship the package with the vehicle and the dealership would install that when it gets there. So keep that in mind. And the rest of those options for the exterior options are all included into the, um, get included in either a package. If you don't see it and don't see a price there, that means it's a part of a package. So like this in here, Panoramic Vista roof, the side rails, that's part of the Vista roof, but yeah, it's also standard equipment. So that's something to think about when you're when you're doing that. So that's all the exterior options. Uh, now let's go ahead and jump down to the interior option. Now moving to the interior options, uh, as we continue down here, we'll see, I didn't mention this earlier, but the two uh, color interiors here, we do have the, uh, it's kind of showing you the ebony black interior. Uh, we do have this other interior, it says ebony interior, and that's the one when you, um, is mentioning a tech package, remove some tech package, which uh, we don't have. Um, and then there's a space white, so a, a space gray, I should say. So space gray is an option. I didn't mention it earlier for an interior color option. So you can get the uh, space uh, gray, so you can see what it looks like. There you go. So I did not mention that earlier, so um, uh, it's not really necessarily a standalone option. So you have two different color interiors. So the space gray will give you the gray inserts in the seats, the front part of that. You'll see the lower part of the, the glove box and the dash and everything will be that color. And regardless of which one you go with, uh, the headliner, I believe, is gray. So, yeah, the headliner is going to be gray regardless if you go with the ebony or with that space gray there. So, um, And then I'm not sure why this color here is requiring you to move the tech package one, but um, see what it does. And that they're talking about tech package one. They just didn't do the wording. Is that so you can see that's the interior of the leather you get when you go to that tech package. So when you go up to that optional package we talked about earlier. Um, that premium package, that's the one that gets that other different color look. So uh, that's the difference between that one. So that's what you would select if you're going with that upgraded premium package uh, that we talked about earlier. So we're going to go back to that so you can see that. There we go. Now moving down, we do have the cargo mat. Uh, so cargo mat is uh, one of those uh, factory installed options that would be put in the vehicle before it's shipped out. That shouldn't be holding up builds if you want to add it. You can see all weather mat that goes back in the back cargo area with the escape on the back. $100 for that. Uh, and then we do have these roadside, these assistance kits. Um, I, I would encourage you to get this through Ford Accessories. Um, it is a dealer installed options with a call up, which means the dealership will take everything out of a box that it comes in and then they put it in the bag for you. That's pretty much the install part of that. So sometimes uh, some dealers will probably just put it in your vehicle and not even do that part of it and let you do that. Uh, but it's something you can get through Ford Accessories. And uh, whether these are holding up your builds, uh, really, I don't think individually they are. Uh, but it's something to, to just consider that the more of these um, options that you add, the longer it could hold up your scope. If one of these out of this, let's say you have four different things on your build, and one of the four is not available, your vehicle won't get scheduled for production. But if there are things you can get through Ford Accessory for the same price and there's no install fee, why not go ahead and get it through the Ford Accessories? And that's what I'm kind of uh, telling you on some of these. And these are two of them that I would consider doing that with. Now the easy um, the easy access cargo shade. This is something that is a factory built or it's an accessory Ford accessory, but they'll put it on at the factory. It's easy to install as well. Something you can get through Ford accessories. Uh, you can see where it clips on up there and then down below. It's not holding up builds too much, but again, the more of these you put on there, that one if one of them's unavailable, the longer it could take. Floor liners. You have two options here. You have it with the carpeted mats, which means the, the factory mats, and then without. So if you don't know you're not going to use the carpeted mats, you can go with this other option and save yourself forty dollars to go uh, go with it that way. Floor liners are something I do recommend. You know, you can get from the factory, or you can get on your factory build, and it should not hold up. I haven't seen it holding up on any orders so far on a lot of other models. Now these next three are things that are things that again Ford accessories there's no install included it's just they come in a, in a box and the dealership puts it in your vehicle and that's the cargo organizer uh, three different sections it's soft sided and everything uh, again that's easy to get through Ford accessories as well as this larger one that includes four compartments across there uh, as well so that's again something to get through Ford accessories as well as this um, cooler bag as well so all three of those again i would suggest you get through uh the ford accessories website um and have it when your vehicle comes in and you can even get it later it's not gonna um so i'd, I'd try not to hold up your build by getting adding those to it if i were you this smokers package this is something you can get um this is an ex a dealer installed option in the sense that the dealer would just put put it in for you um but it's it is listed under the dealer installed option comes with the 
uh, the cup there for your ashes, as well as the, the lighter that you put into your PowerPoint. Um, and that's what's included there as part of that. And I call it a package because it includes more than one option. Uh, you do have the ash cup and coin holder. It's not showing you an image, uh, but this is basically the image just minus the cigarette lighter. So you just get that to go in the cup holder. So again, you can put coins in there as well. So again, I don't know if those are on Ford's website, but um, not many people are ordering those, so it should not hold up your build if you decide you want to add it to your uh, your build. And then the last thing, these are all part of this, that pa premium package we talked about, is the center console vehicle safe. Uh, so that goes in the console with the coded key. Uh, that would be installed at the dealership. That, that is a dealer installed option. So this is something where I would probably say this is available through Ford Accessories website. But with that mentioned, it's going to be the same price as this is from the factory. And you would have to install it yourself or have the, a dealership do that and have to pay for a fee to have it done. If you put it on your build, then the dealership installs it free of charge. So um, the factory pretty much, I don't know if they pay the dealer or how they work that out, but... Uh, it is the same price. So something to consider, um, you know, on your build. And two, if you order this from your uh, on your build, it's going to be locked in at that price. Whereas if you get this later, it can go up in price by the time your vehicle comes in. It could cost you more on Ford Accessories website if they have any kind of price increase throughout the year. So that's something else to consider on your vehicle. So so hopefully that kind of helped out, maybe explained a few things of which options maybe you should think about, you know, getting just through Ford Accessories website and such. Uh, Ford's really pushing accessories right now they're really trying to to put those in there I, and my big deal is if it's an accessory that doesn't cost you extra to install or it's not really an install fee get those through ford accessories website you can even order them now have them before your vehicle even gets there and have them ready to go um, things that you know are maybe a deal installed option where the dealership would would normally charge you to install it those are things you might want to put on your build and the ones especially from the factory they can only be done that way those you want to put on your build, and most of those will not hold up the uh, scheduling of your vehicle. Now, as we conclude, I do want to go over uh, some something else uh, down here, and that is if you go ahead and build out your vehicle, you can kind of do a summary and see how it all books out. So we added the star white metallic tricoat down here. So at any time, you can hit the summary and go down to this section. So right, and then we, uh, of course, the powertrain, nothing else was added. We went, uh, that's all factory or stock at that price and then we didn't add any uh grab any options on the exterior or the interior um, but if we did you'd see those prices in here as well and then you get a summary breakdown down here of the base msrp the options which we added was a star white color uh, accessories we didn't add any you do have this destination charge 1495 that is what ford is going to charge you to get it from the factory to the dealership that is a charge that is not a dealer charge it is the factory charging it for to you Acquisition fee, that is for a lease. So if you go down to this calculator here, you'll notice there's two different versions. You have a lease, which you'll notice has that fee. And if we go to finance, you notice it disappears. So that is only a fee that you get added on a lease. That's the acquisition fee. Then here at that point, you can actually change your down payment. Let's say you know, maybe you don't want to put anything down. Maybe you have a trade-in of $5,000. Uh, with equity, you don't have any any that you owe anything on, right? Now it's showing 84 months at um, 9.9. Uh, you know, they say, oh, I want to only go 60 months and 5.9. You're like, oh, I think I can get better through my local bank. Uh, maybe I can get a 3%. You can change it there and use a custom APR if you want. Uh, at that point, it, it just change everything here, save and close, and it kind of updates that information for you right there. Now, at any time, let's say you want to work with your dealer and maybe that you want to take it into them. You can, at this point, print it out on your own printer if you want. Uh, you can also hit that share button if you want to. Here's the link. Copy that link, or you can hit the share by email. and does your default email, uh, pulls that up. Then you can share that with your dealership if you'd like to do it that way as well, which is how we recommend if dealers want to work with us and they're uh, not close to us, they're out of state or something, we ask them to send that to us so we can order their vehicle and then, of course, send them all the documents of their actual configured order so they can verify that it's correct and everything like that. So that's how that all works. I want to make sure you uh, kind of could see that on the screen. But again, do want to thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully it did help you out. Use the timestamps down below. Move around, get all the content, go back and see anything else that you want to see. Uh, if you hopefully have a good local dealership, do uh, uh, you know ask them you know what they're charging you. Have them make sure they sign it. 
that they're going to lock you into that that kind of price uh, up above or below MSRP um, on your order when you order it, and that uh, you make sure you ask them. You know, well, you're, you're going to pri protect that price in case uh, Ford has any pr price increases, right? And ask them about that because pri Ford will price protect your price from when you order the vehicle. It's called price protection. And you can also lock in any kind of special rates that are that are going on as well at that time. Uh, so it's called rate lock. So that could all be done. So make sure your dealership knows how to do that. Um, and then uh, work with them there too as well. So if you wanna work with us, we're doing MSRP pricing. We also have a dealer fee, $500. It's actually 495 dealer fee. That's our doc fee that, co that covers, you know, all the, do the official documentation, everything we need to do um, and that kind of thing. And then uh, other than that, we have no other extra costs. I know some dealers, what they like to do is they'll add in other things like they'll require a prank protectant or something like that on your build. We don't do that here at Law MacArthur. Uh, and we also tie to the, the lock-in price. We know how price protection works and late, uh, rate uh, lock works as well. Now, if you're out of state, you wanna work with us and you wanna have the vehicle shipped to you, we do have a special offer that's not uh, that's uh, not compatible with the low rates, and that is if you want to finance at standard rates, we'll uh, cover up to thousand dollars of the shipping cost for you. So we'll have it shipped right to your door. So if you want to get a vehicle ordered the you know way you like it from a dealership that knows what they're doing, then you can have it shipped right to your door. Then we can help you out with that if you want to do that. That's a special okay. YouTube. Uh, it's a YouTube special, so make sure when you call in that you let them know that, hey, I saw your video on YouTube and you have that special offer. Uh, right. the, the salesperson knows how, how all that works, and you can take care of it that way as well. So hopefully this video did help you out. And again, 2023 order banks are open up, uh, even for the plug-in hybrid orders. Uh, so go ahead and go to your local dealer. Call us if you want to and get your uh, escape order in. Um, I think you can get scheduled pretty quickly on a 23 gas version plug-in. Um, you know, a little depends. I don't build quite as many of those, but uh, you can get your order in and get it uh, get it on the get it ordered and get it shipped, scheduled, and everything, and back to you. If there, if you want to learn more about uh, our YouTube channel, we hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. But we do a live stream every Tuesday night, so if you are planning to order one we talk about production information and what's scheduling each week we talk about any part constraints you might have if your order has this this and this maybe that you consider removing these or it might take longer we uh, update everybody on their orders um, on our on live stream and we do a topic each week and different things like that and live q a so if you want to come on over tuesday night 7 p.m central right here on our youtube channel and otherwise we'll keep uh, pumping out these videos on uh, different things that are updated for your different orders and uh, how you configure vehicles using our complete guide videos. So uh, thanks for watching. Smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the video. lets people know it's a good video and they need to watch. And if you want to follow us on social media, we're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you want to follow me, there's my Linktree account. You can follow me on different social media sites that I'm on, including uh, TikTok, which I'm starting to try to get into as well uh, lately. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget, stay positive, be kind to each other, and be kind to yourself. And we'll see you later.